Hi, my name is Dave Banta, and I'm an endorsed artist by Steinberg, the company that makes Cubase. I actually spoke uh, two months ago at their booth at NAMM. Uh, you can see it on my website. Uh, and I taught a, a 20 week Cubase course at the Musicians Institute in Hollywood. And this course right here is based on that course that I taught. Uh, this is going to be a comprehensive course showing you everything that there is to do in Cubase 5, uh, 5.1. Actually, I'm using, and let's get started. This first video is going to show us how to set up all our hardware. Our audio sound cards, our MIDI inputs, our piano style keyboards, and we're going to get up and recording audio and mixing it really quickly in this tutorial. So let's start by opening Cubase. We're going to go File, New Project, and this window is going to open and it's going to give you some options. These are different templates and we're going to learn later on what templates are and how to create those. They're a really big time saver. But right now we're going to start with an empty project. Uh, the first thing it's going to ask you is to either create or select a folder that you want this project to be in. What's going to happen is this project will go into this folder so all of the audio that you record and all of the projects and arrangements that you save will go into this folder. I recommend that you create a folder for your album project and an individual folder for each song because um, one song can usually easy fit on a CD as data or for sure can fit on a DVD. So if you only have one song in a folder, then it's really easy to back up on external media. So I created a folder here called Cubase 5 Demo. Let's get started. Uh, so I open a new project and it's an empty project.